In this video, we'll delve into how a velocity template identifies the specific cuboids it should include, along with the source and destination of each cuboid. Velocity employs a cuboid, known as the template manifest, to store this crucial information. Every velocity template has an associated template manifest cuboid, which is stored in the same location as the data cuboids. When a user downloads data into a template by selecting Download Data from the Boardwalk menu, the initial cuboid fetched into the template is the manifest. The manifest contains the location of the data on the server and where to put it in the template. Based on the information in the manifest, the template starts downloading the data into the velocity template. This information can be found in the system properties sheet, which is intentionally hidden from regular users, but accessible to designers. Every template retains the ID and location of the manifest within the workbook as template manifest ID and template manifest hierarchy, respectively. So, picture this. The template manifest, it's like the VIP section at a party, only developers get the golden ticket. You want to bring in the template from the server? Easy peasy, just hit up the link import, but wait, you gotta know the secret handshake, the name of the manifest cuboid. Now, here's where Velocity swoops in like a superhero with a cape. It's got this nifty trick up its sleeve. Head over to the template manifest menu, do a little dance called edit existing, and bam, manifest cuboid is in the house, ready to party. So. Summon your courage and give that OK button the click. Now that we have the manifest downloaded to our Velocity workbook, you will notice that it only contains our transactions cuboid information. First, let's understand the columns of the manifest. The process column contains the name of the process that we are working with. This is Acme Transactions for our case. The column workbook contains the name of the workbook associated with this process and is the name of the template that we are working with. The column worksheet corresponds to the name of sheet where we will be bringing the cuboid to. The column cuboid NH hierarchy contains the hierarchy where the cuboid that we are going to resides on the server. You will recall when we were performing link export or link import functions, we navigated down this hierarchy to export to or import from. The cuboid collab name refers to the collaboration to which our cuboid belongs to. Cuboid WB name is the whiteboard under the collaboration where we will find our data cuboids. Cuboid name is the name of the cuboid that will be brought into the workbook into the sheet listed in the worksheet column. Column visible indicates whether the worksheet is going to be visible to the end user, indicated by true, or will it be hidden, indicated by false. The columns XPOS. YPOS, XPOS VSDO, and YPOS VSDO are not currently being used by Velocity. NH0, NH1, NH2, and NH3 correspond to the hierarchy that the user role is defined at. The column view will always contain the value latest. The column mode controls whether the user can read or write to the cuboid. A value of zero indicates the user can both read and write, while a value of 1 indicates that the cuboid is read-only, i.e., the user cannot write to it, or in velocity speak, the action of submit will indicate that the cuboid was brought in as read-only. The column download type controls the type of cuboid. A value of default indicates it is a cuboid that should be downloaded to the template. A value of ad hoc indicates that the cuboid is brought in when needed and then removed from the workbook. The template manifest is an example of an ad hoc cuboid. A value of on demand in this column indicates that the cuboid will not be downloaded with the rest of the cuboids, but only when the user requests that. An example would be having a summary cuboid, and when details are needed for a row of data, then the request could be sent to the server to fetch the details corresponding to the summary lines from a cuboid with details. The cuboid with details would need to exist on the server. Download for Manager Group will allow users assigned to neighborhoods above the neighborhood of the application. A value of no indicates that they will not be able to access the application. A value of yes gives them access. Cuboid Extractable takes a value of either yes or no. The default is blank and is considered as no. 
A value of yes implies that the data can be extracted from the cuboid to a SQL table. There would be a button available on the velocity template for the user to click and thus extract the data from the cuboid. And the data needs to go to a named SQL table, which will be represented by information in the SQL table name column. The column purge table will either contain yes or no, where yes indicates that the data will be purged from the SQL table before extracting data to it. A value of no will append the data to the existing data in the SQL table. The columns cuboid extractable, SQL table name, and purge table can be left blank. Now that we understand the functionality of the columns in the template manifest, we should now add the two cuboids that we had created earlier in the lessons to the manifest. To do this, we will need two rows for the two cuboids we created. Just for ease of use, we should move the manifest cuboid closer to our other cuboids. and activate the right-click menu options. Now let us copy row number two, two times, using the Boardwalk Velocity right-click menu options to copy rows at the bottom. Change the entries for the columns worksheet for the two rows we just copied. Copy the two values just entered in the worksheet column and paste them in the corresponding cuboid name column. We do not want to show the drop-down list to the users, i.e., hide it. Changing value in the visible column to false for this cuboid will do the trick. These changes are still in the workbook only and have not been saved to the server. Therefore, we need to submit the manifest. Next step is to remove the manifest from the workbook. This can be achieved by going to the template manifest menu and selecting unlink. You see the mouse click menus are also deleted. And then the manifest sheet has been removed. To summarize, in this video we covered the importance of the template manifest, how to download the manifest to our Velocity workbook, understand the function of the various columns of the manifest, how to add our cuboids to the manifest, and once done to unlink the manifest. In the past few videos, we've been busy tweaking the template's configuration. Now, it's time to take the next step and publish those changes. Stay tuned for our upcoming video session, where we'll dive into the exciting process of publishing the template.